This is Savvy King, defender on Bay FC, and you're watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. Hi, um, let's go ahead and start off with questions in the room. Paula. Good evening, Paula Maruri, 10 10 a.m. Let's talk about you guys at the tone early with the goal. And what do you think about the performance of the team in general? And let's talk about the emotions of Zia Scarlett playing with Club America. Mm -hmm. I think we just spoke with her. She was a little bit, she says she feels kind of weird, but she was happy to be here. Thank yeah. you. So first of all, I thought we had a very good performance. Uh, it wasn't consistent as much as we would li have liked, but uh, we played some really good football. And then uh, there's times that we were defending a little bit too much, but it was because we were giving the ball away. And I asked our team, we're at our best when we decide to play the ball and move it around and we're patient. Uh, so there were a lot of good that came out of this game. We created uh, quite a few opportunities and um, we just have to as I've been saying all season long, just put our chances away, right? Uh, so it was uh, overall a very good performance. I was happy with the team and all the players. And then with Scarlett, it's always very emotional. I mean, she's an incredible player. I'm not surprised she scored uh, today. I think she's one of the most uh, just attack-minded forwards in, uh, in the NWSL when she's here. And then for Club America, it's just an honor to play for one of the best teams, I think, in the world. And uh, we're just really happy for her. And uh, we want to wish her the, the best of luck. Marissa, go ahead. Yeah, Patty, just what's it been like for you playing up in the attack and now the team? Like, what kind of went into that decision to put her in that spot? Um, I love it. As long as I'm on the field, I'm happy. As long as I get to help the team any way I can, I get to run. Um, yeah, it's it was it was a little bit of a shock, but I was kind of like, okay, whatever, you know, whatever wherever I am, whatever I can do, I want to I want to be on the field. So that, I was happy with that. So what uh, to that? Uh, her performance all, all year long. Since she's come on, every single practice, every single day, she plays her heart out. And uh, I'm just so happy for her, and so is the entire coaching staff and the team, because we see it every day. And I told her earlier in this week, I'm like, look, I need to find you, find a way to put you on the field. It has to be somewhere. So I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. And uh, I think she just found out that she's gonna play up top yesterday. I mean, it may have been yesterday, uh, and I just know she can do it. I mean, you can see her energy uh, and what she does for the team. It's like she's always working for the team, and uh, she's only going to get better, and it's, I'm excited for her. She's got a really bright future in the NWSL. All right, we'll go Brian, Kate, and then Alex. So Brian G. Santa Cruz voice, so, so first coach, and then Maddie. So coach, it seems like this, the, you know, the partial press, not the full-time press, is really getting good about when to turn it on, when to turn it off. Um, are you feeling like the team is really just changing people's game plans and changing how they're having to deal with you as you go as as you're learning? You're learning how the team get what well, works with it, and then Maddie, your goal seemed to come, seemed to come off of one of those as you know a defender most of the time. Did that kind of make you feel okay? Now I've defend. Now I've defended. Now I. Now it's a little bit pressure off getting the goal. You want to start it off? Go ahead and then I'll answer it. I was not thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't Let's thinking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just in front of the goal and the ball popped to my feet and I was like, okay, God, I guess I'll just hit this somewhere near the goal. And it just, it was opportunistic, I think. And I think um, when I'm forward, I think as a rookie, as all of our rookies are, we're all opportunistic. And I think um, whenever we get chances, hopefully we can just keep doing our best and hopefully that gets us in the field more often. And you got to give her credit because she was in the right position. Uh, she could have been anywhere else on the field and she's, she played as a, a wide forward, but she happened to be in the middle. She made the right run and, uh, you know, good things happen when you're in the right spot. So uh, credit to her for that. And then as far as, uh, you know, what we call is we, we decided to defend on a mid block, but I always ask our players, your intelligent players, okay, see what the game gives you, know when to press, and yes, we're getting better and better at it. I thought we were doing really, really well our last few games in the NWSL outside of the Washington Spirit. I keep going back to the first 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes of that game, we were not very good, but prior to that, We've been un we understand whether we press high, whether we play in a mid block, and uh, it's uh, credit to the players. They're starting to get a much better understanding of when and how, and then doing it collectively. Are you making that call, or are the players making it themselves? So we make the call on their starting position, 
and then they make the call on what the game gives you. But it's obviously things that we work on a little bit and then we talk about, and uh, it's a combination of both. On the sidelines, there are times that we're like, press, 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 and then it's kind of like a cue, and there's some times that we ask them to call, come back, and collectively, we're doing it, but eventually, my job is to sit down, and they understand the game, and depending on where the ball goes to, who it goes to, and just cutting off certain angles. Um, but that'll come with uh, with practice and as the season goes on. Can I change my answer? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot it was about the press. Um, I think as a defender, like you were saying, it's so hard to play out of a press. I think we, we saw that in Angel City. We were pressed a lot, and it was really hard for us to build out. So as a forward, I'm like, let me just run at her as fast as I can and scream or make her nervous, and maybe she'll cough the ball up, and that's literally all it is in the press. And that's why it's so effective when we're high up the field and we can press and get the ball back, and then the momentum builds, and it's just a catalyst, I feel like, for the whole team. Can I change my answer? That, was <laughs> <laughs> that and working on it. <laughs> uh, Kate and then Alex, and then Marco third. Kate Peters, SFG. Maddie, what is it like playing in Bay Area, Bay FC's first international club, club match? Um, I think I'm not like fully uh, conscious of the fact that I'm playing at Bay FC, period. I didn't think coming in, going into preseason, I had no expectations. I didn't think I would play in this league ever. So even being on this team every day, I'm kind of like so grateful that I have the opportunity to play for these girls. Um, and then the first international game, I feel like everything we've done this season has been so monumental. And if I think about that too hard, I'll get a little nervous. So I don't think about it. Um, but just being on this team has been like a dream come true for me. Yeah. Alex. Alex, you've been in the Bay Area for a long time at this point. So I'm sure it didn't surprise you to see that America had quite the fan presence here and maybe <laughs> made this almost feel like a neutral side or a road game even at times. Just what? What can a match like this, where you bring, and I know you guys got Barcelona coming soon too, but what can these matches kind of say about this community and where it's growing as a soccer community on a global scale almost in that regard? Well, so it's not only this match. We've seen it all season long. We've had so much support from our fans and, uh, and then <laughs> looking up at the stands today and seeing a lot of yellow. That's the first time we've seen that all season long. So, but it just goes to show you that this is such a beautiful game. And, uh, and it's exciting. It's good for the players to feel this. Uh, and to see it, it's like, wait, this is just the beginning. This is our first season in Club America. And then in a few weeks, we've got Barcelona. Imagine that. I hope the BFC fans are able to get tickets and uh, and support us. But uh, it's just uh, I always get excited for the players, and it's just a great opportunity for them and to experience it. It's only going to get better. Marco and then William. I'm a great college player. This goes out. Matty, one for you. You look like your conference is at an all-time high. I mean, not only were you at the right place at the right time again for your second goal in this tournament, but you see when you possess the ball, you really took charge, and there was one run where you went almost coast to coast, and so how is your confidence feeling right now? Um, I think soccer, I think professional sports in general are kind of a head, a head game, and um, being at Bay, I've always kind of had a faith background, but I think being at Bay, we have a, a good group of girls, and I think I come back to the fact that I'm not in control. You know, I can prepare as much as I can, I can work as hard as I can. Um, but when I go into the game, I just play because I'm not in control of the outcome. And I think that helps my confidence tremendously. Like if I could tell a little version of me um, what to do, I would just say, play, don't think and just play. And you're not perfect and no one's perfect. And it's not in your hands once you're out there. You've already, you've already trained and prepared. And now it's just just doing everything you possibly can when you walk off the field. You want to know you left everything. So it's it's good right now. It's probably not going to stay good forever, um, but even through that, you can't control, you know, so, yeah. And wait, and that, and sideline telling her, go, 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 go! <laughs> yeah. That helps. Yeah. That helps. That does. And real quick, Coach, what does this win do for this team? You know, you had two rough ones against LA and your city and San Diego, but going forward now, you've got Barcelona, and then when you return to NWSL play, what is this like? So it's always been about getting ready for Utah. Yes, we have an incredible opportunity against Barcelona, but it's all about our league play. And uh, we didn't get the results we necessarily wanted in our first two games, but we had opportunities. We gave opportunities to a player like this. 
and then they made the most of it, right? And we had several other players that stepped up and showed a lot to us. And that's important in this first year for us as a coaching staff. So, I mean, I'm really excited that the Summer Cup was there for us, and we used it really to experiment a little bit, give minutes to certain players, and at the same time resting some of the veterans that have gotten quite a bit, a bit of t uh, playing time. And speaking to them after the game today, they just feel so much better. Emily Mangus, she's been outstanding all season long. Only 45 minutes, didn't play the last couple of games, and she's like, oh my gosh, I feel like it's beginning of the season again. And we need that. So um, it's always been for us, let's prepare for the second half of the season. And there was a little bit more of an emphasis on winning tonight. And the last two games, it was more about just playing a certain way and giving the opportunities to our players. Today was like, let's get right back onto a right foot and winning ways that we know. And this is gonna help us uh, for these next few weeks as we prepare for Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Well, no, Utah first, then Barcelona, then uh, uh, the Thorns. So we've uh, got our hands full. We'll take one last question from William to wrap us up. All right, so one for both of you here. Maddie, it seems like, as he mentioned, your confidence must be at an all-time high. And it's weird to be talking about goals from players, mainly a defender. But you went from your first goal to now your first goal at PayPal. Just how exciting has all that been for you? I mean, Coach, how proud of you are? How proud of her are you about her development over the course of the season? Um, I think. I, when I go into this game, I don't think I'm, you know, I don't think, oh, I'm going to get a goal today. So I think, I don't know. How do you explain? I don't know. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. But the thing is, like, I, you score, and then the next day, you forget that you scored. You know, and then you have practice again, and then you have everything. And so it's going to, it's way more short-lived than you think, you know? And so... Um, just going into the next week, I'm probably going to forget I scored, and it's going to be day one again. And I think that's how it's supposed to be. So, yeah. I'm just so happy for Maddie. I, I told her after the game, and I've, I think I've told her this before as well, is I love coaching her. She said, and I said this earlier, she gives you everything she has every single day. She's an incredible teammate, and more importantly, she's even a better human. So that's infectious. When you have players like that over the long term, you're going to have a very good team. So when you have her work ethic, her mentality, and as you hear her speak, she's just also very humble, but confident. So we're always trying to go, hey, go and do this. Take players on. I want you to run at mm -hmm. them, right? And because she can. Uh, so the fact that she's taken all the information we've given her over the last uh, few months and now it's having a huge impact. But like she said, it's like tomorrow's the new day and we've got to uh, continue getting better and, uh, and she's gonna be challenged by all of her teammates. So just excited for her to have this opportunity and it's a, and a long career, hopefully. All right, we'll wrap on that. Thanks, guys. Hey, fans, I'm Kara Suboy with Bay Area Sports Wrap. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.